With summer winding down, you may be enjoying the last few days of warmth with a beverage on your front porch or barbecuing in your backyard. But you may notice some unwanted visitors, wasps. So what, one reason why we see a lot of wasps is actually there's way more wasp workers now than there were early in the spring. And so at the beginning of the spring, the colonies are really small and they get bigger. There is more eggs that are being laid, more larvae and more workers that are feeding the larvae. And the colonies get bigger, 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 and they kind of reach the peak of uh, their size and uh, are about now near the end of summer. Wasps are social insects. They have a queen that does all the egg laying, and the workers are responsible for taking care of the brood. They head out searching for caterpillars and other insects to bring back to the colony to feed the larvae. Oddly enough, it's, it's not just kind of a one-way uh, street where the workers are bringing food to the larvae. So the larvae are actually, uh, when they eat, they secrete this kind of saliva that is rich in sugars and amino acids. So the adult workers that are flying are actually consuming the saliva, this uh, spit by <laughs> their sister larvae, and that helps to kind of power their metabolism. Near the end of summer, the queen slows down egg laying and concentrates on producing queens and their mates for the next generation. So there is less larva that are actually found in the nest, and that means there is less larva spit and there is less sugary food for the workers to consume at the colony. So the workers have to go out and try to supplement their diet by essentially collecting nectar from flowers. Or having a sip of the sugary drink you may be enjoying in your backyard. At the end of the summer, especially, the, they're, they're kind of short on, on food supply. They're not getting the sugary saliva spit from, uh, uh, from uh, their sisters because there's fewer larvae. And then uh, we just happen to kind of, uh, that's a time where we like to enjoy our, our outdoors and, and have cookouts and, and barbecues. And so we, we just, it, we provide a lot of easily accessible food for them at a time where, where food is in short, short supply. Before you try to harm the wasps, think twice. Because they visit flowers and they do have like a, a bit of hair uh, on their bodies, they're, they're able to pollinate uh, uh, flowers, although not in, in the same extent uh, as bees. Uh, they're also very important for like uh, pest controls, right? Because uh, often they feed on, uh, on caterpillars that are eating things in, in, in and around your garden. So as summer winds down, save a seat for some wasps at your backyard barbecues. After all, Winter will soon ward them off.